Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Gemini, welcome to September. This is your money and career reading. So what is your general sort of money vibe in the beginning, the middle, and the end of September? All right, so beginning of the month, thinking long term. What are the things that I need to achieve? Getting our ducks in a row. And that's fantastic because this should pay off for you. In the middle of the month, this is being open to allow other people to help you. So this is other people's ideas. It's not necessarily like other people's financial blessings, although it could be. Um, this is more of an emotional vibe. So um, a better example of how this might tie into your finances is if somebody says, hey, let's go out to lunch, and you say okay. And then there's that weird, awkward struggle um, about paying the check, and the friend says, let me get it. Um, instead of saying, no, 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 I got it, going, thank you, that's so sweet, um, which is actually really fantastic for you to do, not only for your own um, financial situation, you just gained 30 bucks that you didn't have to spend, right? But also on a vibrational level, because this shows the universe, I am open to receive gifts and blessings from other people, from the universe, and um, you know, when we argue over the check, it makes both people feel awkward and bad, but this allows both parties to feel good. I feel good because I receive a blessing, but then my friend also feels good because I didn't take away an opportunity for them to show love and kindness and generosity, right? Um, so that's the middle of the month. Getting to the end of the month, um, this should actually, you should be feeling like the payoff a little bit more of what you'd started as far as um, the vibe goes, thinking long term, getting things organized, creating a budget perhaps, to the point where now things are solid and this is something that you should continue to do, um, but to the point where now maybe you can give back to others, whether that's of time, whether that's of energy or actual like financial donation or assistance. So yay, Gemini, this is so far of the readings I've done, the very best. Um, financial or career type of reading um, news-wise. So um, in, if it's not in concern to your actual financial situation but more related to career, it's like, okay, I'm making long-term career goals and plans. Um, maybe now I'm open to receive assistance or promotions. And then, um, so this could come through for a couple of you potentially as, hey, somebody's offering to help me out. Maybe you're a business owner. And so then you say, okay, and then you pay them. Um, but it works out good for everybody. So some things that they wanted to throw out initially, like as I was trying to pull those cards, um, we got a little hijacked by your spirit guides. So they're saying, for those of you who are feeling unsuccessful, the past is not a, and this is like a common theme in a lot of the readings actually this month, the past does not have shit to do with the present or the future. Just because something didn't work out before doesn't mean that it won't in the future. They're saying, be open-minded, be childlike. When you're a kid and you're like, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. I want to be the first woman president. Nobody says, that's absolutely fucking insane. They're like, yeah, okay, cool. Achieve your dreams. You can do anything. And that's the attitude we want to have. And we want to start thinking about how we're going to implement those things. They're saying a lot of you who are saying you can't do something um, are actually lying to yourself, um, to your own demise. You're hurting yourself by doing that. You're actually safe and supported here, even in like, you're kind of making yourself feel bad about it. The thing is, is the worst thing that's gonna happen is it's not gonna work out, at which point we go back to the drawing board and we try again, we change things a little bit um, to create a more successful path. They're saying, um, if we over internalize, you know, the outcome as to like, oh man, that didn't work, that's gonna make us feel really kind of depressed and um, we need to instead think about it as this is an opportunity to create an even better plan, okay? They're saying this is how we achieve stability. So for those of you who that beginning portion didn't resonate with um, and this is more you and where you're at, 
you can be there as well, just like the rest of the Geminis. But we need to make that investment in ourselves and in our own resilience, in our own tenacity, and we'll be very happy with that result should you choose that path, okay? Now, your money theme for the month is not necessarily about, um, you know, feeling comfortable with our current state, and it's not necessarily about you know, what is right, what is wrong, um, there's a right way to go about doing things, and so on and so forth. They're saying individuality, your unique approach, is the most important thing. Um, leaving your unique stamp of love on everything that you do. And I don't remember which other sign this popped up in. It might have been Scorpio, so if you have Scorpio and Gemini in your chart, maybe you want to check out that reading as well. But essentially what it's saying is, you know, Weird Al is just fucking Al if he didn't embrace his weirdness. What makes us unique, what makes us different is actually what makes us special and interesting and successful most of the time. So keep that in mind. Um, as far as new potential income sources go, they say there's not much really that we have to decide or go chase or anything. As long as we're in this vibration of like, I love money and I love receiving money and being in that really positive state then it's as though people just kind of tell you, uh, like, hey, I'd like to do this for you. Hey, I'd like to discount you this. Hey, um, I've got this new potential opportunity for you. You don't have to go out and chase anything as long as we're in that right vibration, okay? Opportunities that you should be considering this month is just when you're feeling powerless, when you're not feeling at your highest state, when things don't go your way, that it's an opportunity to make a slight change and try again. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger, it just makes us smarter, it makes us wiser, right? Actions to take advantage of in your career path, and they're just saying, um, you know, taking all of this strength and enthusiasm, using the astrology that's not really working so well for a lot of signs this month, to your advantage. Okay, um, so our general readings um, are also going to be posted here on Instagram TV and YouTube, if, depending on where you're watching it. Um, so I would check those out as well because there might be other little inputs there that might kind of correlate to your money reading. And then I'm just going to leave you with what's going right with your current path. And they're saying you're really not at a crossroads um, unless you're feeling down or bummed out about your money situation. That's an opportunity in which you should follow that guidance in the beginning of the video. So rewind, go back, and remember to follow through with that guidance. What's going wrong? And they're saying if something's going wrong, you already know because we just fucking talked about it. <laughs> and allow other people to help you because help is around you, whether that's in the form of spirit guides or actual other people, whether that's programs, whatever. It's around you. It's just about opening your eyes to it so you can take advantage. Love you so much and I'll see you in October. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.